versus Walker Gaming's Kobore, yeah. another female player from Japan. I believe she uses Alyssa. I don't know if she's changed in recent times. She's obviously going to show us once the match starts, but does not have a stick caddy. Is that a is that an obsidian or a dragon? No, is that the uh, is that the Hori optic stick? I love seeing what sticks people people decide to use when they come to tournament. But she's getting ready, sitting down. Walker Gaming uh, has so many good players, such as uh, Kagamaru, the mm -hmm. uh, winner, part of the team from last year's Master Cup. Yes. Big, uh, huge comeback on the side of him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an Obsidian that she's just put different buttons on. I think that's the Soul Calibur 5 stick on the side of, uh, of Q. Yeah. So let's see what's going to go happen here. Kobare, the apple of uh, Rixta's eye. If you know your <laughs> lore. Uh, don't. Uh, apparently, I didn't, I didn't know this. One of her, one of Rix's favorite players in Japan. Look, look, she's such a cutie. Rixa, I didn't know. It's your chance. Yeah, she tell Rixa to like tr try and uh, try and uh, get her number. Probably has way too many numbers because it's a Japanese one, but. <laughs> but like I said, I think I, the last time I remember her playing, I remember her playing Elisa. I don't know if that's okay. changed from now. Yeah, the one thing it, it really weird about uh, about these events, right, is, is that we got a, a real big Japanese contingency that came out this year. 40, 50? 50 plus players. And and so when you get into this situation, right, where you're like, I, I don't know a lot of this because Japanese scene has been sort of quiet in terms of like showing up to events or, or really like putting on events consistently for us to, to see their players, right? And so when you get to these events, you sort of have to absorb as much information. A lot of these guys you see, like, I haven't seen BKC uh, pretty much since Strong Style. And I'm yeah. like, all right, so, you know, what do you, are, is there anything that is different from February until now? Yeah, the Japanese player base in general has, at least for coming, they haven't really came to North America for the Techno World Tour events. They've kind of been staying in Asia. I think a couple of them may have been going to a few European events. But, I mean, like you said, Japan has not had a dearth They've been having so many events of their own. Pro license events, yeah. Tekken World Tour events in Asia that you've seen people like Nobi. I mean, when we think of Japan, we think of Nobi, Naroma, uh, Take, Yu. Yeah. And then you get all these other guys that came out to EVO specifically. Yeah, we actually got some of the oh, other pro license guys like Double, like Hakayo, Batsu. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, it's been it's been pretty good so far, but I really appreciate that the Japanese came out like this because this is yeah. the one time we really get to see how their Tekken scene is doing. Yeah. So we'll see. I, I miss the character selections. Alisa for Kobare and Shaheen for Q. Yeah, Q, I believe, is from SoCal as well. These guys uh, have been coming out to Wednesday Night Fights here and there. One of the guys that we always go like, man, there are new faces at Wednesday Night Fights still? Tekken 7? This is crazy. Yeah, didn't you guys like break 50-something recently? Yeah, the last Wednesday Night Fights we had in SoCal before uh, EVO was at 50-plus players. And yeah. this was one of them right here. Yeah. So Cobra, ooh, that new destruction stance chainsaw move right at the start. Ooh, Cobra. Yeah, she need, wants the brawl. <laughs> you need get up there. Does a ton of damage, actually. You have to be wary about it. Yeah. Using that destruction stance. I used to see, like, basically the only Elisa that would bring out destruction stance a lot, I remember, would be um, uh, Chanel. And yeah. now all of the Elisas are starting to use it more in Tekken 7 as the game has developed. Yeah, the way that Cobra is actually going into it, down for 1 plus 2 is so strong, right? It's hard yeah. to deal with, safe on block. And then you know, put nice you pick up. Yeah, nice pick up here. Ooh, gets the slide. What's the Oki? What's the four people for? Okay, yeah, he, he fell down to reduce damage, but the second hit of down forward one four finds its mark. And that was a quick two rounds. Yeah. I thought that was still the first round. Elisa does big, do quite a bit of damage, actually. For being a like a, a character that's supposed to be fundamental Tekken, she hurts. Yeah. But with Q trying to find his footing in this third round. Yeah. Trying to go for that high splat was just a little bit too far. Ooh, Ooh that back three plus four. Dynamic range. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Gets hit out of destruction stance. Doesn't pick up the combo. With Q, the no. Chance. And the rage art. It doesn't hit. And Kobore is able to take the first game. And Q shaking his head. He messed up that combo. That was yeah. a, quite likely a kill situation that would have got him that third round. But draw. Kobore, pat in her chest. Man, that was very, very stressful for her. 
EVO is such a stressful tournament for so many players. It, it's Everybody wants to do well. I mean, a lot of even even guys like uh, like just people who show up to locals. This is their one chance to sort of get a litmus test of how far they've gone in the year, right? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these guys put a lot of weight on their shoulders in that regard as well. Yeah, a lot of people like you know like don't necessarily come to Evo to win. They come to see where they stand in the greater scheme of things. They come like they take that information back home. They try to come be better and come back next year. Yep. But Q trying to fight. He's got the wall messing him up right there. He's got his back to the wall now. Uh, challenge the hop kick, but they trade. Nice rollout from Cobra, oh, and nice. then the homing kick. Round two. Smack him out of there. Takes the first round of this second game, but the hop kick to start it off. Yeah, with punish that standing four that Cobra used to try to challenge at the beginning of the round. I think the beginning of the round is such an interesting gambit. You see so many different players play the same way, different ways. Obviously, the most normal thing is like both players back up. Yeah. But then you see both players sometimes swing at each other right at the start. Oh, the trades with the down four and two in the favor of Cobra. This, pro this won't hit the wall, but, but right next to it. Ooh! Ooh. Gets hit out of the loose stance. All right, now we got the combo finishing. Let's go, Q. Finally, takes his first round. Hopefully, that's a bit of a confidence booster. Sometimes you just need that a little bit to tell you that you can do it. Oh, nice sidestep, but he only, he only whiff punish from a down 4 4. Nice block. Ooh, late Doesn't on that get punish. the punish. Ooh, Ooh, got hit with the end of that. At least it's not that much damage, though. Takes some solace in that, but he is in rage. Able to make that comeback if he gets the launch. Yeah, and in a destruction stance like this, Elisa actually loses a lot of her movement options. Unable to run it down. Oh, school! <laughs> Gets the dive in afterwards, Cobra adds that point. Fight. She was like teasing him, like, do you really want to fight me, bro? I got chainsaws for arms, and he went I in. Don't know. How do you approach your lady with chainsaws, man? This is really difficult. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, nice the dodge. Yeah, this character, she basically turns into a Gundam and when she gets into this stance. Pulls out of it, though, Cobra, looking for that last hit that she needs. All right, blocks the rage drive this time. But Cobra on easy street right now. Just needs one little hit. On the down oh. two in the destruction stance, takes it. She's so happy she won. Look how cute she is. So happy that she won. Even even going for that the cheeky the behind the back hit with the kick. Yeah. Uh, it's like you're gonna be happy. You want like ah oh, yeah I did it. And you're gonna go for cheeky moves like that. All right, calm down now. Yeah, showing yeah, off you, what Elisa. You can't fool me. Yeah. Good at showing for the Elisa, showing off a lot of what she can do. That's the most destruction stance I've seen all weekend. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She was. Yeah. She was being rude, going into the front destruction stance, diving around, turning herself into a Gundam. All right. But I mean, we're gonna get back into these pools in just a second. Please don't yeah. go away. We're going to have some more Tekken 7 action rounding out these pools before you get into round two. Don't go away. Don't move. <laughs> 